your viewers and viewers, I'm Propagandist, and welcome back to some more Girls and Panzer quizzes here on Quotev.com. We've done most of these now in the last couple of videos. That leaves just two more that I actually want to do. We want to do this one, the Girls and Panzer Personality Quiz, School Commanders, as well as this one down here, Girls and Panzer Quiz, fun and knowledge in brackets. So, um, you know, there are some other quizzes actually on this uh, page, like for example, the... Uh, how much do you know about the Tiger One one, as well as the, which Moe military anime do you belong in? We're not going to do those ones though, just because, I don't know, I feel like they're not specifically Girls and Panzer related, so I probably won't do so well at them. But, you know, we're going to start off with the personality quiz. The Girls and Panzer personality quiz, parentheses, school commanders, by Christoph. By taking this quiz, you will see which commander from which school you're most like. This is my first ever made quiz. Well, Christoph, let's take a look at what you've got in store for us. Question number one, then. Before a tankery match, how do you greet your opponent? By taunting them? Do you promise them a fair match? Do you tell them that you feel confident about winning? Say something like good luck, greet them in a grim and serious manner, wait for them to speak first, and then say something nice, even if what they said wasn't. Well, you know, I'd like to think that probably what I would do is, um, I mean, I'd, I'd promise, I'd, I'd say something, you know, fairly sociable, knowing myself, probably. I mean, that's the thing, you know, my sort of internet persona would be to um, sound like some sort of absolute asshole and say something, <laughs> say, say, make a horrible joke at their expense, but actually, no. In actual reality, the real me would not be like that. Uh, I mean, I feel, I feel like saying good luck could probably be a good one. You know, because sportsmanlike, it's a sportsmanlike gesture, so sure, why not just say good luck? Yeah. Question number two. After you lose a match, what do you do? Show your respect for everyone involved in the match by throwing a big party. That sounds like the Anzio answer, because uh, that's what happened in the Anzio OVA when, uh, you know, Anchovy lost. <laughs> Announce your respect for the opponent and compliment them. Yeah, that's always a fairly uh, gracious thing to do. Try and not show how angry and embarrassed you are by supporting your opponent in their next match. That sounds maybe a bit like the Katusha response. Tell your opponent that they deserve the win, but you will beat them next time. You congratulate the opponent, but you train extra hard for next time. I mean, it's, those almost kind of feel the same. Those two answers. You are not angry at all because you realise that this is an actual war. That is the K answer from Saunders. That is, you know, the tanks would be sad and all that because apparently tanks have feelings. Okay, um, well, again, I'd probably be fairly respectful knowing me and I'd just say something fairly gracious, you know, sportsmanlike and all that. So, you know, announce respect and compliment them. I'm thinking actually as well, that, that's actually misspelled. That should be compliment with an I, not an E there. Because, you know, not, not to be not to be a grammar Nazi here or anything. No, let's not be a grammar Nazi. Okay, yeah, this one, second answer. Question three. After winning match, what do you say to your team? Another victory as expected. Ha ha ha, thanks to me, we destroyed our opponents. Yeah, team, we did it. We won, and we won fairly. We followed the plan and won. I had a feeling this would be our day. Our strategic superiority won us another match. Hmm. Okay, um, well, I mean, this is a real fucking uh, kind of self-centred answer there. Uh, yeah, team, we did it. We won, and we won fairly. We followed the plan and won. I had a feeling this would be our day. Um, I mean, to be honest, probably just go for the pretty bog standard yeah we did it everybody sure why not describe yourself with one or two words overconfident i mean i, I don't i don't i don't think i am equitable sophisticated Ooh, <laughs> i like that that sounds like a saint gloriana answer usually with these quizzes you can always sort of pin the answer to the team or the character who it most describes because that's the beauty of girls and panzer the characters are all you know because there's so many of them the show just doesn't have time to develop any of them instead it just gives them very notable quirks so you remember you remember who they all are and you know you can pretty much pin um these these different characteristics to certain leaders sophisticated sounds definitely like darjeeling caring Ambitious, determined. Oh, well, I like to think I'm rather sophisticated, so I'll go with that. Wow! The land of make-believe! Favourite tank? The Panzerkampfwagen, uh, 2 Aus V slash F, Panther Aus F, KV2, Centurion, M4 Sherman, the Caro Amato P40. Ooh! Now, you see, there's a couple of good choices, actually, on here. My immediate gravitation um, 
or rather I'm immediately gravitating towards either the Centurion or the M4 Sherman. Because uh, they're both, you know, decent tanks. Um, Panther is, you know, is, is good-ish, though kind of like Tiger, I think it had a lot of mechanical reliability issues. KV-2 looks impressive, but I don't know. I've heard that you, the, it just, again, it had sort of certain technical issues which prevented it from really being as good as it could have been. On top of that, obviously, that really massive fucking turret gives it a high profile, which enables enemies to see it from a greater distance. Carol Marto P40, decent tank as far as I'm aware, but I don't, I don't know, was there anything particularly stand out about it? I'm not sure. Panzerkampfwagen 2, of course, is a very, very early German Panzer tank, and probably, you know, as the Second World War got underway, it kind of became to an extent obsolete. Maybe not, you know, it didn't necessarily go out of use, but uh, I wouldn't go for the Panzer 2. Right, you know, I'm going to go for the Centurion, right? Because why not? There's no fucking competition here. The Centurion, I think, is probably the best out of that bunch, so Centurion, please. Uh, Favourite flower? This also shows a little about you. Okay, we've had a similar question to this, I think, in the quiz we did about Ori characters, um, where it had a whole list of flowers, because again, you go to the wiki, it has all the characters' favourite flower listed under the trivia section. Um, right, what do we got? A sakura, a daisy, chamomile, any type is cool, blue rose, or a lupin. Hmm, okay, I mean, I don't actually know which ones, which, can, which uh, commanders these actually correspond to. I mean, uh, a blue rose, eh? I like the colour blue, so... You know what, on that basis alone, on purely that basis, we're going to go for the Blue Rose, because why not? And, surprise, surprise, <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to get Darjeeling. You know what, I'll take it. Darjeeling is absolutely fine. You know, I do see myself as sophisticated. <laughs> which is probably not how other people see me. I like to think I'm well-read and all that, but yes. Overall commander of St. Gloriana's Girls High School. Well, you know what? I, like I said, I'm absolutely happy with that. <laughs> right, so, the Girls and Panzer quiz. Fun and knowledge. Are you a real fan of the anime Girls and Panzer? Can you answer my ultimate questions of Team Pravda? Are you a real commander as Miho? Or are you as sleepy as Mako, colon D? This quiz is having ten questions, and it's my first quiz. I'm sorry if there are any problems. You can get four tanks, I wrote dot dot dot. Okay, well, Pascal, let's see what you've got in store for us. Now, you know, I'm 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 just gonna say I'm in it to win it here. I'm gonna see who a bit who who see how rather, how many questions I can get right. If I don't get hundred percent here, then you know I will be ashamed. Who's the main protagonist of the series? Well, it's clearly Miho Nishizumi. It's not Nonna, it's not Katusha. <laughs> Me, <laughs> no. It's Miho, definitely. I mean, pretty straightforward one. Pretty easy. In which school goes Miho and her friends? Kura Morimine, Ori, Saunders, Pravda. Well, it's Ori. Okay, so far, simple enough. Who admires Miho Nishizumi so much? I mean, you kind of have given the answer away with that question, uh, with that picture, uh, not question, rather. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you can't get it from that picture, then, you know, you really don't know Girls and Panzer that well, do you? It's Ryukari, it's not Maho, though, you know, there is that whole joke about Maho being a bit of a siscon, though. I don't know if that's actually established in canon. Katusha or Mako Reize? No, it's Yukari. It's Yukari. That easier question. Smiley face, what, because the other ones weren't easy already? <laughs> Who is always sleepy and can't get out of bed in the morning? Or out of morning, as it says there. I mean, again, you've given the answer away with the picture. It's right there, it's Marco Reze. It's not me, only it's not Captain Jürgebusch the Third. What? Sorry, is there some kind of joke there that I'm not getting? <laughs> Sayori Takabe, nope, Marco Reze. Who fits this text the best? I love that character so much. Pravda's second in command who has a calm and cool demeanour, hardly showcasing any emotions, and follows every order of Katusha. Well, again, you're giving the answer away with the picture. So, Pascal, if you're watching this and you are thinking about making another quiz, I think uh, next time, if you, it's alright to put pictures with each question, but put a picture that doesn't give the answer away. <laughs> Alyssa, no. Nonna, yes. Naomi, no. Darjeeling, no. It's Nona. No, 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 no. I know, of course, uh, you know, a fair amount of people actually really like Nona. Um, 
she's definitely sort of prime waifu material, I do think. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at some of the friggin' imagery of her. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't want some of the, you know, who wouldn't want to, who, well, there, there, who wouldn't want a bit of Nona as their waifu, eh? Sure. I mean, why the hell not? Good choice, everybody. Okay, uh, now a bit more about tanks, smiley face. In which tank is Nona, the gunner? She's so cool, heart. KV-85, no. T-34, 85, no. IS-2, a car. Few, few? Strange. Okay. No, that's an IS-2, and again, you've kind of given it away on the picture. Though, having said that, actually, I suppose if you're not actually particularly knowledgeable about tanks, then uh, you wouldn't be able to identify it from a picture, but I don't know. IS-2 it is. Uh, what is Miho's tank? It's not the Hetzer. That is the upgraded one that the Student Council uses, formerly the Panzer 38T. Panzer 4, Aus D. Let's just say Panzer 4. Yes, that is correct. Another car, few, few. Whatever. <laughs> the Czech Panzer 38T, which I mentioned a moment ago. No, it is the Panzer IV. Definitely. What are the main characters in the series, the first five? Is it Miho Nishizumi? Yes. Anzu Katadani? No. Nona? No. Yukari Akiyama? Yes. Mako Reze? Yes. Nope, that's not the right answer. Tenkanazu Katusha? No. Uh, Nona? No. Miho Nishizumi? Yes. Pravda? No. Anzu Katadani? No. It's the bottom one. It's Miho Nishizumi, Sayori Takabe, Hana Suzu, Yukari Akiyama, and Mako Reze. The communists! <laughs> <laughs> didn't even notice that then at first, just at the bottom there. Yes, those well-known communist characters. The, uh, you know, Girls and Panzer crew and all that. Right, um, well, it's those three. Five, rather. Do you know the scene with the Porsche Tiger? Did you forget it? No problem. Which text matches the Porsche Tiger the best? Most reliable tank and strongest in the world? <laughs> Definitely not. Another German tank, like the 500 other tanks in the universe? Definitely not. It gets stuck easily and have technical breakdowns, but it's still a very good and strong tank. Um, probably this one, the third one. What's the fourth one? The worst tank in history. My stone is stronger than that piece of... Wait, is that a line on the back? Okay, most cute tank ever. Colon 3. No, it's, I think it's the third one. It's got to be, right? Because that, you know, pretty much sums up what's going on in the picture there. So, yes. 10. I gave my best. Now hate me for this quiz. I liked Nona 2 or Colon 3. Nah, it's okay. What the fuck is this? You did a great job. I love you. Well, you know what? Because I'm going for 100%. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to butter you up a bit there, Pascal. I'm going to say I love you. I'm going to confess my love. And of course, that gets me 100%. Of course it does. You answered 10 out of 10 questions correctly. Yes, I totally uh, didn't know what the correct answer was on that 10th question. Okay, well, you know what, Pascal? For a first quiz... You know, it's good for stoking my ego, since I clearly know so much about Girls and Panzer. But I think uh, if you're going to do um, another one, maybe uh, make it a bit harder. And um, try putting in pictures that don't give the answers away so easily. You are a genius. Thank you, Pascal. You know the anime very good, and I also hope that you love Nona as much as me, heart. Miho Nishizumi is super cute. Agreed. You're king. Yes, I am the king. You're as cute as Miho. You are a commander. Congrats, smiley face. Well, nice to know that I am as cute as old Miho is. So, there you go, everybody. We'll tell you what, this will probably be a shorter little episode of Girls and Panzer Quizzes than the previous two, since these were not particularly long. Though, you know, once I've added a few extra things uh, in terms of little inserts, stuff like that, it'll probably pad out the video a little bit. So, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up here then. So, thank you, everybody, for joining me for another quiz filler video type thing for Girls and Panzer. Uh, it was absolutely enjoyable right then. Hope you enjoyed it too. If you're not aware, my, you know, Propagandist is my second channel. My main uh, channel is General Red Strategist, where I do various anime relate, not, sorry, not anime related, gaming content. Look, Jesus Christ. It's getting to that time of the evening, everybody. I actually need to uh, wrap things up and go and get myself some food. I've got a pizza in my freezer that I'm having tonight. It's going to be very nice. Uh, ham and pineapple, everybody. Ha! I know, I know. Don't shoot me down. I know not everybody likes pineapple on pizza. But seriously, if, if you, if you're the sort of person, right, I'm just going to say it right now. If you're the sort of person who goes around telling people that they can't have pineapple on their pizza, then you need to shut the fuck up, because you're a goddamn pizza Nazi. I don't care. I see you reaching for that dislike button. Yeah, go on. Fucking do it. Fucking press that dislike button. Tell the world what a pizza Nazi you actually are. But in the meantime, you know, <laughs> with that aside, um, thank you then once again for joining me and all that. You know, general strategies, go check it out and the social media pages associated with it. Links down in the video description as usual. But in the meantime, I'm going to go now. So thank you, everybody, and goodbye all.